And we're here with the Polka Showcase, your host, Al Markick, and my guest, Mr. Frankie Mullick, an old-timer here from way back. You're not kidding from way back. <laughs> yeah, way back. Yeah. yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? It sure has. You yeah. remember way back in the 40s. Was I, it, think, I think the time that you recorded with us was, uh, was about the early 50s, wasn't it? Well, I don't. I can't remember that far back. Yeah. Well, you recorded with so many different bands that yeah. you can't keep track yeah. of them all. No, but I remember. Where were we at? Schneider. Yeah, right. Yeah. Schneider? Remember back in the days when the whole band used one microphone? One microphone, yeah. right? Yeah. And you know, I listened. Well, I was listening to you on the way, and uh, some of the, the the sounds that these guys are getting is amazing because back when we were making records, when we started this back in the forties. Why, uh, we were lucky to have one microphone. Well, you got to remember, Frank, too, that uh, as time progresses, they keep coming up with new equipment. Yeah. And uh, some of the, the sounds you can get today are fabulous. I know that. Yeah. It makes it a real good, deep-sounding, good right. resonance. There's, there's one guy down in uh, Youngstown, at uh, Gary Ramey at Peppermint Studios. This guy's got a fantastic ear. I mean, you can sit there and listen, and you won't hear the mistakes, but he does. No kidding. Oh, yeah, he's great. And we need somebody like that around Cleveland. Although, as far as I'm concerned, uh, recording for me is, uh, eh, you know, who needs it anymore? At my age, you know, I'm, I'm happy. In fact, I don't buy green bananas anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't worry about it anymore either, but unless, <laughs> unless I'm producing somebody else's. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, but yeah. as far as myself goes, the last ones I did, I think, was uh, with Freddie Kuhar. We did 39 tunes. Oh, really? No, I heard something that you did with uh, Soja. Did you do something with Soja just recently, or...? A little uh, while ago? We, we, yeah, we recorded. Yeah, so, I, Soja was uh, Soja and Dick Fleischman and uh, mm. Porky Panikvar and uh, Bobby Gospich on oh. one. And uh, Lou, Lou Pike. Yeah, is, Gospich. Is, is he here? Oh, I'm, he's here. Yeah, he lives in Menor. Oh, I thought he was in California. He there? was in California, but that earthquake destroyed his home. Oh. So they got the heck out of there. Hey, listen, there's no better place than here. You're right. I don't uh, care what anybody I, I, says. I could tell you a few things, but I won't. Yeah, <laughs> I know. We don't have the earthquakes, the landslides, the mudslides, oh, the fires. And, uh, and they don't have the friends we have. That's right. Oh, I'll tell you, that's that yeah. to me is uh, the most important thing. But anyhow, um, I'm happy to be here, really, and to be talking to your audience. Uh, I don't get out here too often, and uh, so... Any, if there's any of my friends out there that might be tuned in, or if they're not tuned in, why aren't they? Well, we'll tell them tune in. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, listen, I'm going to be, I'll be uh, publicizing your show, because I'll tell you, I, re I really enjoy the stuff that you're playing. Being a Good. musician, maybe mm -hmm. the other people don't look at it like I do, but being a musician, I enjoy that good, sharp stuff, and you were playing the good stuff. Well, I'll tell you, Frank, I try to play a little bit of everybody's. Mm -hmm. Well, that part's okay, but, you know, yeah. the, the, what I heard that you played was really terrific. Good. Glad yeah. you and, enjoyed it. And I just hope that maybe someday you guys will put a, a higher tower up here or, or put more... <laughs> more. No, we're, we're checking now uh, if we can... You know, we were, we were trying to protect two stations south of us, and uh, we've got $1,000 in with FCC oh. to see if we couldn't change it. Can't change our pattern also to go 24 hours because then we can get the ball games in here. Nobody in here gets the ball games in Chardon. Oh. So, uh, and go to a lower band. And if we go to a lower band, you'll probably oh. pick us up there better, so. Yeah, because, well, I can get you where I live, but yeah. not real real good, but, yeah. uh, but but way down at the bottom end of that dial, you know, whoever goes that far, you know, unless they know about it. Well, that's right. You got, you got to know about it. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, you brought, a, you brought a cassette to me, and... Uh, do you know what's on it, what you put on it? <laughs> well, I, I've got a faint idea, but uh, but the reason I put it on a cassette, because years ago when I did have a selection of my recordings, uh, I loaned them to Kenny Bass. He was going to uh, have a program in my honor or whatever yeah. you want to call it. And it so happened that uh, he never brought them back, and in the meantime, uh, he demised, and uh, so the recordings are gone. and. So all I have left is what uh, Don Sosnowski put on the tape for me. Yeah, good old Don. Yeah, and I picked out the best ones that I had because, as I said, when we recorded, we only had one microphone. So right. when I listened to what the stuff I made and listened to what you were playing, uh, you know, it makes you kind of humble. Yeah, well. But I think the first really. one, I think the first one on that tape is "Tell Me a Story." All right, I'll tell you what. We'll we'll take a listen.
Frankie Mullick is our guest. You are our guest, are you not, Frank? Oh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm going to be a partner here, I think. I'm going to... Well, that's uh, all right. I can use a partner. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, oh, I made a mistake on that first tune. That was the Cleveland Polka. That's the thing that sent me riding high. That wasn't a... Oh. To- that was not telling me a story. No, no. Oh. That's in there someplace. Yeah. Oh, boy. I'll tell well, you. Well, that's all right. We'll find it. See, what do you want for a guy <clears> my age? You know, I just celebrated the 17th an- uh, 37th anniversary of my 39th birthday. Is that right? Yeah. So that makes it 76, and boy, I'll tell you. Which side? Uh, but, yeah, there you go. <laughs> but anyhow, yeah, it's real nice to be here. Yeah, it's a pleasure. I'm glad you can make it. And real nice to hear from my friends. If they got a quarter, they can call up and say hello or... Oh, or, Andy Cash and calls it's a free call it don't yeah. cost that he calls on the 800 line. oh there you go well, yeah we have one of them yeah i know i used yeah. it already. you used yeah. it already <laughs> then you know yeah what do you want for a slivinia yeah. you know <laughs> <laughs> it's all right no andy andy calls in from time to time he checks up right. on me no he's a good guy if you want yeah. good concrete uh, if you want hard cement call him right you call him for anything oh well, yeah. anything yeah. yeah if you Ooh. like if you like if you like to do a little gavin why he'll stand there and he'll talk to you oh right? yeah Oh, yeah, he I'll loves it, to, yeah. I'll have to get out there and see you. He's in Geneva, right, or Madison? No, no, he's in Madison on oh, the Madison. lake, yeah. Okay. Andy, I'll probably be out Wednesday. I, I'm getting some help here Wednesday, so I'll probably get a chance to get out and see you. Okay? Very good. All right, I'll tell you what, you don't know what you got on your next tune, huh? No, I don't. I haven't got the time. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll try it and we'll find out, <laughs> and then you can, you can tell us after it's played. I hope I can remember the name, you know. Yeah, you I, will. with Frankie Malik here. That was uh, the name of that? Uh, Which was that? <laughs> uh, E-I-E-I-O. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that's yeah, simple told, enough, ain't it? Yeah, I yeah. told you I'm going to have trouble remembering some of these things. Well, don't worry about a thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll come up yeah. with, with the answers for it sooner or later. Uh, right. How'd you get started in music? How did I get started in yeah, music? Well, when? you know, the typical Slovenian kid... When he's 12 years old or 10 years old, he wants to play the accordion. What else? The accordion. So I finally got my dad to get me one, and uh, well, I monkeyed with it for a while, and then I got tired because, you know, I thought you just put the thing on and it plays, but it doesn't work that way. you got to study, you know, take lessons. Yeah. And then I happened to get a teacher. The first teacher I got was a crabby guy. And he'd come to the house to give me a lesson, and I'd get on my bicycle and take off. off. You know, <laughs> so my dad says, "Hey, I gotta pay this guy fifty cents." He says, "Forget it." So uh, he forgot about it. There's no more lessons. So then, uh, Nick Skorka, if you remember way back, yeah, 
he had a 15 minute program one day a week and the uh, accordion music so every time that program was on he'd turn it on loud make sure that I would hear it so then I got the bug again and I used to take the streetcar from Euclid Beach Park all the way to 55th and Broadway and carried my accordion from 55th down Broadway about a mile to the, to the uh, music studio. Right. Yeah, and uh, you know, and then after the school term was over, I didn't have the 50 cent pass anymore. So, uh, you know, to pay, a, I think it was a nickel or whatever the heck it was, I don't remember. But anyhow, decided, well, I'll wait till next school term. Well, next school term, uh, I came and went, and uh, I started working. Oh, I took a couple lessons from Joe Trolley. Oh, did I, you? Yeah, Joe. Oh, Joe oh, taught, taught everybody. Oh, great, great oh, guy. Yeah, nice guy. And, yeah. Uh, but anyhow, so he gave me some lessons and gave me some ideas, and I knew what I wanted to play, so that's what I, I started to learn by myself, the chords and all that thing. But uh, And the first job was Pulses on Waterloo Road. I'll never forget that. Pulses? Yeah, it was a, right there by the 167th in Waterloo. They had a bar with you know, fish fries. On you know. the north side? Yep, on the yeah, north okay. side, right by the creek. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah well, it's not there anymore, no, I guess. I forget. <laughs> but the, yeah. the creek ain't there either. <laughs> it dried up, yeah. But uh, that was the first job I played, and my dad was there. Oh, he was so happy because, you know, here's... Here's my son, Francais, you know, playing the accordion. Yeah. And, and I think I got a dollar that night, but uh, that was the beginning of my beginning of my musical career. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got to ask you a question there. Uh, the first time I, I heard of you, uh, I heard the record, Sharon Polka. Oh, yeah. That Were was... you born in Sharon? or? No, no, no. Huh? No, my daughter, my daughter my, from my first marriage, his name was Sharon. Okay. And uh, we made a record and said, what are we going to call it? So I decided to give her, give it her name. Uh-huh. And uh, that was one that we made over at Fred Wolf's studio. Okay. And as I said before, when you listen to the quality of our old records as opposed to to the quality of the new records why it was a big difference well yeah yeah so yeah Sharon Polka that was one of my first compositions I thought uh, I always thought that well, you had Sharon on there I thought maybe you came from Sharon no, Pennsylvania no Cleveland Ohio born yeah, and raised born and raised there, huh? still around you oh, know geez, still around. okay <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That was recorded back when, do you remember? Uh, about 1948, 47, I think. Was that your yeah. first recording? First recording. First recording, yeah. yeah. Almost 50 years ago. You know wow. Who, do you know who was all on it? Yeah, I still remember. I had uh, Rudy Permi played piano. He's gone. We had uh, uh, Ralph, uh, Ralph Roberts played sax. We had uh, Hokavar and Chuck Wallers played sax. And uh, there was one more guy in there. Uh, I think it was Bill Sneller. But uh, that was piano. the recording, yeah. Yeah, yeah played piano. He's a yeah. great guy, too. He's still around. He's still around, yeah. right. Yeah, how about the rest of the guys? Well, I told you, there are they're, they're they're, they're only two of us left from the original band, Jimmy Medvis and me. Huh. And, well, you know, Christoph played with me for quite a few years, but uh, we didn't make any recordings with him. Uh, he couldn't pitch in enough money, so we didn't make any recordings. you, you got to have, have cash, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody has to put cash into yeah. it, yeah. Well, you got to get a start somehow. But that was a good thing to do, you know. know. It was, was an ambition. I guess, uh, you know, everybody that has a, that's in the music game probably has that uh, thought or, you know, that goal. But, uh, yeah, we got into it. And then uh, I went with Continental. And uh, it's a long story. But if we got we got a lot of time. I can. I don't know if the listeners out there are going to get tired of listening to me talking so much. No, that's, that's why we've got this program, oh. so we can dig stuff out that... Uh, people don't normally hear every yeah. day you know they hear the music and they say hi frank or hi al and how are you this and that and that's the end of it they have no more idea what's going on than the yeah, man they, in the moon you know yeah. well they they probably like some of the tidbits that we can uh, yeah that we offer. come up with yeah, yeah. you're right oh, yeah. well you know in in my uh, playing music all these years you know i played with oh gee i played with uh oh okay well i'll tell you i played with uh lawrence welk he not on not on the road or anything. He came into Frank's place. Yeah. And uh, there was somebody else that came in. I can't remember who the heck it was now. Well, maybe I'll think about it. All right, we got five seconds. We're going into the news. Serving Maple Country. This is your Geauga station, fifteen sixty WATJ in Chardon. 
With SRN News, I'm Paul Henderson. Two aerospace companies were selected today to build and fly prototypes of the Joint Strike Fighter, contracts that Pentagon and industry officials have said will reshape the aerospace industry. Defense Secretary William Perry made the announcement at the Pentagon. Are the two contractors for the Joint Strike Fighter's concept, concept demonstration phase. And you're listening to the Polka Showcase with Al Markick and his guest, Frankie Mullick from back way then. <laughs> Boy, you're not kidding way back. Wow. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I, I quit playing the accordion back in 1950 or 51 when uh, uh, the family, we opened up the nightclub, you know, the lounge yeah, bar right. with my mom and my wife and yeah. myself. And uh, so I had, uh, I had the idea I wanted to have a three sons sounding outfit. So I had Johnny Kristoff and uh, I had Joe Vero playing the organ and I played the accordion and Joe Vero had a chance to get a job working make three, four nights a week and he was only working two at my place. So I had to learn how to play the organ because I couldn't find anybody that would play the style I was looking for. Yeah, I remember you played organ. Yeah, and uh, that's back, but you know, they, how many years would that be? Uh, 40 years ago? No. Yeah, yeah. 50, probably. Yeah, sure. wow. Holy smokes, but anyhow. <laughs> Like the guy says, boy, Frank, you play real good. And I tell him, I say, hey, when I mean, you play an instrument for all these years, if you didn't, if you're not good after 40 years, you better switch to something else. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you now? Uh, 76. 76. That's why they wrote that song. 76. Six trombones. trombones. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you're a little older. You're a little older than me. Yeah, little, yeah. not very much. Huh? Well, about five years. Oh yeah. Oh wow. You're, I'm you're seventy-one. Just, you know, 71. Yeah, I'm oh. seventy-one. Hey, listen, we're still growing. Prime. We're at the prime of life. You're right, boy. We were at the you're prime right. of life. You're boy. right. And uh, as I said, the music was a was a fabulous thing to be involved with, and uh, uh, made life uh, happier. You you're know? right. Yeah. All right. Let's try another one of your tunes here. Okay. I don't know if you know the name of the tune now, but you can give it to us <laughs> after it's done. All right. I guess this goes back to about 1950. Because your blue eyes blink. <laughs> with the Polka Show. He's here with Frankie Mullick, an old-timer here. That was Blue Eyes Blink. Yeah, because you're blue. Joey Lujar, Bill Sneller, you were on there, too, you know that? Yeah. Yeah, you were on that show, and uh, not show, but recording session, and uh, Bill Sneller, and then Hokey, and Ralph, and Chuck Walters, and, um, oh, me, too, you know, I was there. But uh, well, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, that was... Oh, that was those were a good session. That was a good session. That was I. Th I gotta say this, not to make you feel no. good or have me come back or give me money or anything like that. But that was the best recording session that we had. And you know, in the meantime, I was supposed to go with Capital, but uh, I, me, you know, I don't know what. I really don't know what the heck happened. But uh, uh, about the time the polkas were kind of slowing down, so uh, you know, then I got on with my with my goal in life, you know, to make a living, you know. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. And because up until about that time, why, you know, it was just a matter of playing and, you know, looking for good jobs. And well, it's a matter, matter of, uh, when, you're, when you're doing that, uh, you, first of all, you got to be dedicated. Right. Okay, to do any good. And then secondly, you're not going to get rich with it. It's more or less like a hobby. <laughs> you bet your boots. Yeah. Yeah, there's, you know, you, you stop and think of how many musicians have actually made big time you know yeah you know you can count them probably on your hands and feet you know from our area here <laughs> yeah. you know but uh, there's always uh, you know you always figure there's always a glimmer but uh, no i i realized long time ago that i'd better have something 
other than music to fall back on. So I, I went into the two and I, uh, I was an apprentice and all that kind of jazz. But uh, yeah, so I tried. You name it, I've been in it. Okay. Yeah. But uh, that's my uh, philosophy in life. Enjoy what you're doing. If you don't, get into something else. That's right. But, that's uh, right. So that's what I'm doing now. You know that you probably don't know that I, I fix furnaces for a hobby now. Oh, well, do you? I charge a little bit too. You know. I'm sure. <laughs> that enhances the hobby. <laughs> you know. But uh, no, I do. That. I've been fixing. I've been in the furnace game for a lot of years. Have you the, really? Yeah, really. Yeah. yeah. Oh, probably about 20 years. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. I uh, see. I started uh, with the buildings we had. Uh, I had to do some repairs, and then I I got involved with a furnace company from uh, uh, they were out there in Beechwood. I worked for them for about four or five years, and a couple other companies. Then I went on my own. So now I, you know, I do jobs here and there, make a couple bucks, enough to, enough to buy, you know, whatever. I, you know, I'm into computing. You know, I have a computer and all oh, that. Do kind you? Of, oh yeah. In fact, I see your net w uh, address up there. Yeah, you'll have to try I'm gonna, it. Yeah, I'm going to check <laughs> you out on the web, on the web. But yeah, uh, I did. I heard it on the radio, but I couldn't uh, remember all the letters. But I marked it down. I'm gonna check it out. But anyhow, the extra money I make, uh, you know, I I use I buy stuff for my computing, and I enjoy what it. What kind of computer you got? I got a uh, 486 uh, 66 with a one gigabyte hard drive. If you want me to get into the gory details. Oh, what what company? Oh, uh, oh no, it's, Apple or uh, no, no, IBM? no, no, no. It's it's uh, IBM compatible. IBM. Yeah. yeah, it's IBM compatible. Yeah, Apple doesn't uh, doesn't seem to hold the. Um, uh, the market, uh, like the IBM compatibles, yeah. and you know any programs you get, you can get any program for IBM compatible. But if you you get into Apple and uh, Mac, uh, you you have uh, you know you you have a little trouble finding some. I'm in program. computers too. Oh, you are? Yes, oh. sir. I oh. have an Amiga 2000. Oh, hey, that's a good and, one. Uh, I've got uh, two programs that are $2,500 each. Oh, what's the what I kind? Can, I can do the same thing. Well, Amiga is, Commodore is for uh, video. Yeah, yeah. Because I like to, I like video, oh. and uh, I can do the same thing they do on uh, regular television. I can make the picture fly or anything you want yeah. with it, you know. Oh, hey, that's all, yeah. that's good to know, yeah, really. That's, yeah, that, that's what I do. Yeah, that's uh, these are all computerized pictures here. Oh, hey, hey, folks, so this guy here, he's, he's no, no, he's, this this is one of my guys here that comes in on Fridays. He does this. A lot of these guys. Uh, pictures of guys that are working here. Uh -huh. See that one up there with his first wives? Yeah. That's Mario in the middle. No kidding. Yeah. Yeah, with the hair and everything. Yeah, you you uh, fixed it up on the uh, yeah, scanner. You put that on the scanner yeah. and uh, fit them in there, and yeah. Oh, great! Hey, yeah. I'm happy to I'm happy to know that there's another Slovenian that's got a computer. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, that's Love great. It. Yeah. Oh, really? That's yeah. good. And, you know, I was going to get into the MIDI. You know, uh, yeah. writing music yeah. on the computer. Yeah. But uh, you know, uh, I, I'll tell you more about that. Uh, I'm, I'm, I don't want the people to get bored. Yeah, right. Okay. You know. yeah. So well, you, I'll tell you what. Let's play another one of your tunes here. Have we got another one? Well, I Jesus. don't know. Holy smoke! You mean I recorded more than two songs? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> let's give a listen. Yeah, all right. Oh yeah. <laughs> was going to say something, but it well, it got cut off, so. Oh, well, poor Don. Is that yeah. Dominic you're talking about? Don. Oh, Don. Oh, yeah, Don yeah. Yeah, 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 old that, Don. Yeah, yeah, that too. Yeah. But anyhow, old Don, yeah, we, uh, he, uh, where I got these uh, tapes, or where I got the stuff from, the tape, is the program that he made a two-hour interview tape with me, and he played every record and every... Uh, uh, Heine Martin, I used to make stuff for him. Yeah. And he got everything on the tape, so I had to take it off of there. As I said before, uh, Kenny Best, 
took my uh, set of records and never got them back, and so I don't have any records. So if anybody out there wants to donate some of my old records to this old <laughs> guy that made them, I'm, I'm, I'm open, you know? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's awful. But anyway, Those were all 78s. Yeah, 78s, yeah. Oh, they were, I came in shortly after they went, they had those round things, you know, with the big horn on it. <laughs> that you cranked? <laughs> yeah. Okay, what the heck? Uh, boy, I'll tell you. But yeah. uh, a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, you know. Right. Uh, uh, Bill Schneller, I don't know if he's out there. I, I wanted to mention Johnny Kristoff. You know, you know Johnny Kristoff sure, real Johnny. well. Sure, I know Johnny. Sure, I know all the Kristoff boys. Yeah, that, well, hey, uh, now uh, Tony. From what I, I just talked to Johnny a few weeks ago, and they, he was telling me that Tony was uh, he was in the hospital. And, oh yeah. Yeah, he's. I don't know what was wrong, but anyhow, so we could send the greetings out to Tony. And incidentally, Al Glass. I don't know if Al Glass is. I know he's at a nursing home here in uh, Chardon, but. Uh, I haven't seen it. If his wife Bertha is listening, give me a call because I'd like to know how Al's doing. What is he up here at Quality? Uh, I'm not the sure. The top of the hill there? You're not, not sure? Huh? No, I'm not sure. But okay. Then, you know, yeah, because you know, old friends. You know, I hate to. Well, I know. You know, I, I hate know. to forget. I don't forget old friends. We're, we're up at that age now where we have old friends. Yeah. <laughs> all, and they have old friends yeah. that know us. Yeah. They're yeah. all old friends. You're right. Yeah. You know what? I'm looking through this microphone thing at you. I'm getting cross-eyed. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna move it around. You so if my it. voice disappears, you'll know what happened. Well, we can't let it disappear. We got to keep it in place. Yeah. So yeah. Oh yeah, boy. But I'm getting cross-eyed looking at you over there. You know, one eye's jealous of the other. You know. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so. <laughs> So anyhow, do I have any more songs on that thing? There? I don't know. We're, we're going to find out here in a few minutes. You you had some apartments too, didn't you? Oh yeah, crazy. Yeah, that's right. I had uh, well between the, the wife and uh, myself, we had the twenty four suites that we took. Uh, we're ours, you know. And, yeah. And uh, and if you ever came to the building, if you wanted to see who the guy was that uh, did the uh, mowing of the lawn and cleaning of the bathrooms, am and I stuff looking like, at him? Yeah, that's the guy. Yeah, <laughs> and my wife, you know, they. they Tenants used to tell her, geez, Mrs. Mullick, you know, why don't you hire somebody to clean the halls, you know? <laughs> so, oh, I'll tell you. Well, that's the way it goes when you yeah. own property like that. you gotta, you got to work. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you, I'm glad that we did. Um, I'm glad that we did the things that we did. Yeah. You know, if I had to do, oh, well, we made a lot of mistakes. I made, uh, I should say, I made a lot of mistakes, but they... You know, you're entitled to some, right? Right. And I got my, my share of them, but uh, you learn something from every mistake that you make. That's right. Yeah, but, uh, no, we had real full life, I'll tell you. People Good. ask, hey, Frank, how are things? I tell them, hey, if they were any better, I'd start to worry. Yeah, see? Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever uh, do any traveling with your band? Yeah. Yeah, yeah where, well, we were, we were Chicago, uh, the Philadelphia, that area around Philadelphia, Pittsburgh. We were in Pittsburgh an awful lot. Did you ever go to Sharon, Pennsylvania? Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Major, not me, uh, not Major, but El Equipa and, uh, oh, right around uh, Strabane. Strabane? Yeah, yeah. I'll never forget the first time we played there. It's a street. It's one street. They yeah. call it a Strabane, Ohio. I'll well, tell you. That, that Strabane was a good polka town. Oh, yeah, and yeah. Uh, Ambridge. Ambridge, yeah. yeah. And all those people. And uh, what's her name? Francia Rosenberger. Right. You know, I'm, I'm sure you met her. Sure. You couldn't miss her, right? Many times. Yeah. The old Francia. I, I hope she can hear us over here. Well, her, uh, her brother was... Uh, Traveled with me in Europe a few times. Oh, you mean yeah, the one that passed to play the well, bass. The ba played the yeah. bass, right? He got killed in an auto accident that, just I before didn't. Christmas. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. I I run into France, you know, at the Polka Hall of Fame a couple of years ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a couple of years ago, I was I was elected for something. I don't know if they gave me a, a janitor's job or something. I don't well, know. they gave you an award, didn't they? They gave me a plaque for for being a good. <laughs> Good janitor. Well, you know how to move the broom. <laughs> yeah, there you go. But yeah. Uh, yeah, so I bumped into her. But that was, you know, yeah, like I said, you know, that's like frosting on a cake. For all those years, I did things that I enjoyed doing and uh, got paid for doing it. And then in the end, uh, you know, in my uh, golden years, I get these little awards and plaques and things, and I appreciate them. Well, that's all. That's all that counts. As long as we were, they were happy with them. Well, oh, yeah.
that was Marky Gonzaga with the Knock Your Socks Off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's a good tune. You like that, huh? Oh, yeah. No, yeah. hey, listen, I like the good, sharp, you know, the good old Slovenian style, you know. Yeah. Well, that that's Jake on the button oh, box, you know, the yeah. guy. He's good. He's good. He's hell, of a, hell of a good musician. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's getting ready to... To hang it up to oh, really? Just, yeah. Yeah. Well, just, you know what the heck I, you know, what what are you gonna do? You can't hang in there till you're uh, till you're ready to fall in the box. You know, you gotta <laughs> uh, gotta go smell the roses a little bit. I probably would have stayed in till till that time. But what are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you can't help it. You yeah. Know? Oh well. Yeah. I guess the only guy that I know of that's gonna hang in there till he drops is Yankovic. Yeah. You're right. He, you know, he's 80. I'm I'm 76, so he's 81 or 82. I'm, s- I'm 71. He's 81. Yeah, he's 81. Then yeah. He's 10 year, 10 years and uh, eight days older than me. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Anyhow. His mine's on the 20th. This is the 28th. Oh, July. Well, July. See, so you got something in common. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Whoopee. <laughs> Whoopee. Can hardly wait, huh? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> One more. Yeah. But anyhow, hey, listen. Could I mention Maggie Falcone? Sure. Okay, listen. I don't know how many of the listeners out there know that Maggie and I uh, kind of work together. Uh, in fact, we're going to have a concert uh, Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, November the 19th. Well, here's the uh, calendar. Yeah, yeah. good thing. Yeah, the 19th. Yeah, I remembered. At Don Richard's studio on Pearl Road at uh, 6248. I remember the address. It's right next to the Yorktown Lanes. Okay. You know, don't go bowling. Come into Don Richard's. But yeah. if she's going to be playing an organ that costs $45,000. And me, they're gonna. They they got an organ for me that they they got in a Cracker Jack box. You know? <laughs> and, no, we're gonna have an hour an hour uh, concert. And uh, if there's any people out here in Chardon or anybody that can hear us, way they're welcome to come this coming Tuesday. And Maggie plays very very good. We used to share the nights over at Yankovic's oh, yeah? for a year or so. Yeah. I don't remember her. Yeah, she plays real good and. Uh, yeah. So we we got some good stuff and uh, some of my yakking. I'll be doing some talking. You know, I, that's the one thing I I don't lack is a, is the talk. You know, if I could play as good as I talk, I'd be in, I'd be See? I'd still be playing. That sounds yeah. like we're gonna have another Ferranti and Teicher. Yeah, yeah, no, this is gonna be uh, Falcone and Malik. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be an interesting show. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I wanted to me- also mention. You know, a lot of times people are stopping. They say, "Hey, Frank, uh, gee." Good. Uh, good to see you. Where are you playing? Oh, I don't play anymore. Oh, no kidding. What happened? Well, I had to give up on a kind of illness. Oh, what's what's the problem? I said people got sick of me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's my usual that's, line. That's your illness, huh? Yeah, that's yeah. my illness. <laughs> well, we got any news coming? And we're back with the Polka Showcase here with Al Markic and his guest, Frankie Mullick, an old-timer, <laughs> like, like me. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, what think you're going to do, man? You know, time flies, and uh, but again, you know, it's it's wonderful. And look at the nice day we have today. Beautiful yeah, and weather. we're sitting in here. Yeah, well, no, I'd rather be in here anyhow because it's cold out it's there. It's cold out there? <laughs> yeah. Okay. But, uh, getting, you know, talking about the music business, you know, I mentioned before, you know, Ken Griffin, when we had the nightclub, Ken Griffin stopped in there, and that was the other celebrity celebrity that I wanted to mention that I played with, you know, but uh, only a matter of a couple tunes, that's all. But, uh, oh, what's his name, uh, the bubble man, you know, Lawrence Welk, he came into Frank's place there one night with the whole gang, you know, the whole band. Yeah. They were playing down at the hall, and uh, so it was nice. It was, a, it was a treat, you know, the people enjoyed it. But anyhow... I, uh, you know, the phones have been ringing like crazy. I wish these people would quit calling for a bit, no? Yeah, well... Uh, Give us a break. I, a yeah, you know, I'm sitting here with the headphones on. I got a, I got a telephone in one ear and the headphone on the other ear. And, you know, <laughs> the microphone in yeah, the mouth. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, you know, give us a chance to get to get our breath, you know. But uh, but please call anyhow. We, we'd like to be talking to friends. You're right. Yeah. All right, we got this tape of yours, uh... Let's let's produce another tune out here. <laughs> yeah. If there's another one on there, yeah, there is. But there is. Uh, don't ask me the name because I have no idea. All right, we'll check on it and we'll come back with it later. Okay. 
speaking again with vocals by Ralph Roberts and Johnny Kokovar. in it, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> that's a bad needle. But no, uh, until we meet again, that is was that a the, song. Is that the name of it? Yeah, Hokey wrote that. You know, Hokevar. Hokevar, yeah. yeah. He wrote the thing, and uh, and you know, we recorded it, and it's, it's a nice tune. But again, we had one microphone. What do you want for one microphone? You know, right? Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're lucky we got what we got. <laughs> yeah, right. There you go. And uh, well, it was fun. You're right. So. It was. What were we going to talk about now? I forgot. Uh, I was going to ask you. Now, the Hokovar that played bass with you, is that any relation to the Hokovar that played the saxophone, the younger one? No. He used to play with Frankie Kramer? No, I don't think so, because the, his two sons didn't play any instruments. They didn't instruments. play anything? No. Okay, then... They both uh, they got into the bar business. I think one of them still has a bar. Okay, he had a bar up there on 6th? Uh, boy, uh, yeah, I think that's the one, yeah, yeah. I think that, so. That had a fire and yeah. burned, didn't it? Yeah, yeah that's that's yeah. the one. Okay, that was one yeah. of his sons, huh? Yeah, no, the, but the Hokovar you talk about, I, I don't know, uh, yeah. I don't know him, but, you know, the sax players, but, uh, yeah, the, um, uh, the bands today, you know, back when, we, you know, I got to tell you this, uh, the listeners would maybe like to know, back when we were in the music business, if you didn't have a lot of steady work, you didn't have steady men. That's right. You know, this, uh, I, I'm sure that you probably worked with a half a dozen different bands, right? You're right. Yeah. Sax players, the same thing. One sax player. Fifty accordion players, right. two sax players, you right. know? And yeah. three drummers. And, oh, geez, sometimes, you know, if you didn't have a name and had a lot of work, yeah. you had trouble getting guys to work. But well, uh, that's where I was fortunate. Yeah. Yeah. See. I had I had the same guys there for about 12 years. and. Uh, oh. Makes open. a big difference. Oh, yeah. Makes a big difference. Makes a yeah. big difference. Yeah. Like... Uh, well, I was working with Frank over at his place there for about seven or eight years. I forget how long, and uh, it was a good job. It was fun, you know. We had a lot of lot of people, a lot of you know. They come in to see Frank. They didn't come in to see me because you know, hey, who's Mullick and what the heck? But they'd come in to see Yankovic, and uh, well, he was he was the big name at the oh, time. Oh yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. People come from all over the United States. I it's know. Amazing, yeah, and packed. Oh, I spent a lot of time in both his places. Yeah, yeah. Well, they. You know, you want to see where all the action is, right? Well, I like polka music. Hey, and, talking uh, about action, you know, last night we were over to uh, Mary Lujar's Rendezvous Bar oh, yeah, on yeah. West 25th Street. Right. And old Bruce, you know, Bruce uh, Berger. Berger. Uh, listen, that guy, if anybody wants to hear somebody play accordion real good, go listen to Bruce. He's a fine accordion player. But yes, we were yes. there last night. And, you know, Mary, as uh, generous as she is, she... Brought in two big pizzas and oh, oh yeah, what a time! We had some friends from uh, from Oregon that were visiting for a week or so. Frank, in fact, I played for his wedding 50 years ago. Oh, is that right? Talking about weddings, my wife and I have been married for 46 years. Okay, man, that's a long time. Tell me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've been married a long time. Yeah, but it's great. You know what the heck you're gonna do? Okay. What else is there? Yeah, what else is new? <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, I'll tell you. Yeah. yeah, so anyhow, it was fun. You're uh, right. Well, we got we got it. Well, I don't know what the next song is. I have no idea. No the idea. last one was Until We Meet Again, okay. I remembered. 
But uh, what's on the thing now? I have no idea. I'm looking for EI. Did we play EIO yet? That's the I, one I like the best. I think we did, but I wouldn't say oh, for sure. No, don't. Uh, that's all right. Whatever's well, on there. All right. I'll yeah. tell you what. Let Let's play it. We'll find out. Okay. Or is polka. Do you know what the name of that is? No, I was going <laughs> to say, geez, if anybody out there knows the name of that song, please call and tell me what it is. I forgot already. It's been so many years. But I do remember it was one of the things we made for Heine Martin, who right. years ago was one of the, uh, well, I guess the originators of the Slovenian program. More or, or less, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it goes way back. Oh, the, yeah. Wee, boy. Heine Martin, the 707. Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. He's gone now, the yeah. poor guy. He's up, he's up in heaven there looking down at us. Well, he's up there with a few of the other guys. Well, I don't know. No, I, I don't know about, uh, about you or them, but me, I'm going to be done with my friends. Well, that's where I'm going, too. <laughs> yeah, so... I like, I like my drinks. I like my card games. There you go. There'll be a lot of that going on there. <laughs> and how? But, uh, yeah, that I don't remember the name of that song, but that was recorded back in the 40s, about 47 or 48. So that's a lot of years ago. So yes, you know, it you've is. got to forgive me for forgetting, but uh, I can't help it. I, I guess even the studio isn't there anymore. Either one uh, of them. No, that's all. That's all yeah. gone. Yeah, they put a couple of more. Uh, well, well, the one uh, where Fred Wolf is gone. That the. Uh, is that where the holiday uh, went? Or? I think, yeah, one of the hotels or something. And then where Schneider was, that's gone. That's they, gone. I don't know what's in there now. Yeah. But, uh, you know, progress, they call it. That's what but, they call it. But I'd like to see the studio this guy's got down in, Ac in the Youngstown. That, uh, well, Peppermint. I'll tell you, it, you, you, you walk in there, it doesn't look like much of a studio, but, boy, he sure gets the sound. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what counts. Great. Right? Right. Yeah. Well, he knows what he's doing. Well, that's, that's yeah. the important. Yeah. Well, Joey Michigan is good at that, oh, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he knows. Yeah. Joey's very and, good uh, at old, it. Remember old uh, uh, Val, uh, not Val, but... Uh, yeah, I know who you're talking uh, about. Uh, uh, It'll come. Yeah, he'll, yeah he'll, he retired. Yeah, he went down to Kentucky or someplace? No, he's in Virginia. Virginia? Or, yeah, either Virginia or West Virginia. Uh, he bought a, a piece of land that's got a hilltop to it, like a mountain to oh, it. Oh, yeah? And, yeah, and that's where he yeah, was building. I'm that's Malechkar. My, uh, yeah, Val, uh, Val, uh, Vladimir. Vladimir Malechkar. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, he was good, that son of a... Him and the, yeah. and the guy that wrote the lyrics, but again, the name slipped my mind, and, you know, as I said... I'm at the stage where I don't buy green bananas anymore, so what the heck are you going to do? Yeah. So, uh, but uh, it was fun. Remember Cleveland recording? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Well, they're yeah. still in business, Suma now. It's okay. called Suma. Paul, Suma? No, it's called Suma Recording. Oh, Suma? Yeah. Uh, oh. Paul is the son, and uh, I can't think of the uh, the father's name. That, uh, we, we did some recordings down there at, at uh, Cleveland Recording. Well, how's the equipment good? Well, they bought it. They bought an old house back in the backwoods over there and made it into studios. Oh. And uh, well, that's where Kuhar did all his uh, thirty-nine units, thirty-nine oh, yeah? songs. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Was that the outfit that's in Paynesville or someplace? Well, the they're, they're, yeah, they're they're like in the, what would you call it, um, Mender? Uh, I think it's Mender. Yeah. It's on the. Uh, What's the name of the road that runs from the freeway? Uh, oh, well. Yeah, from whatever. Yeah. Well, hey, if some uh, yeah. kind person out there comes up with a good tune, we'll find the place and go and record it, huh? Yeah. Providing yeah. they provide the money. That's right. Yeah. yeah. But uh, uh, with all the with all the bands that are recording now, I guess it wouldn't be well, too much of a problem. Well, I'll tell you, today uh, probably cost you about 10000 bucks. So. Yeah, I bet, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, the equipment that they have today is very expensive, and uh, the engineers get paid big bucks. And uh, yeah, you know, so when you add it all up, boy, it's a lot of money to make a record. And then, then what do you do? Uh, yeah, I'll never forget that uh, that Sharon Polka that uh, yeah. named after my daughter. Well, we I don't know how many thousands we had made. So uh, you know, you got to have a place to sell them too, and well, you got to promote them. See, and that helps in the process of promoting them and trying to get get rid of some and distribute them 
the IRS come to my place. I had the grocery store. Then the IRS guy comes and he says, hey, he says, uh, I see here you made a recording over at Cleveland Recording and you, you've got uh, 5,000 records and where's the income from that? And I says, follow me. Yeah, it's show him, huh? <laughs> yeah, I took him down the basement. I said, there yeah, it is. Take a look at it. Yeah, you know. He looked at me, shook his head, and walked out. <laughs> yeah, I used to do some of these, uh, handle some of these uh, bands that recorded, and they'd ask me, will you, will you handle the works? And I'd take it all the way through, you know, from yeah. beginning to end. But I would tell him ahead of time, I said, look, if you got 5,000 bucks, put it in the bank. You're sure of the interest yeah. because you're not sure you're going to sell them, and yeah, they know. sure as hell don't taste good for breakfast. I'll yeah. tell you. Yeah. So I ended up. Well, we sold quite. You know, Brodnick Brothers had the, uh, yeah. the furniture store. Furniture store. Uh, and they were real. They signed that lady at on uh, on Lakeshore Boulevard. I can't remember her name, but anyhow, uh, not Gardena, but a name like that. They were in the furniture business. But finally, I was able to get rid of some through them. And then I, uh, when I had the grocery store, I had a big sale, and you come in and you buy ten dollars or two dollars worth of merchandise, you get a free record. Free record. <laughs> yeah, that's where those records went. Okay. Um. All right. We got to do some commercials. Oh yeah. And we're back. We're back with the polka showcase with Frankie Mullick and Al Martic. Yeah. And getting back to those records, huh? How about yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, we uh, that that guy shook his head and walked out, and I never heard from him after that. I don't think they bother too many of the polka guys because uh, trying to sell them is pretty mm -hmm. tough. You haven't got a national national company yeah. way. I know. I uh, while I was still working at General Electric, I had told uh, Bobby Temple once. I said, "Gee, Bobby, you're 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 not doing too much. You you got the business here. Why don't you distribute records?" And uh, no action or nothing. So I finally took it upon myself, and I loaded up my car one day, and I headed out. Uh, we were having the youngsters, so couldn't go any place, do anything. I loaded up my trunk with I don't know how many records, and I went to Chicago, and then Milwaukee, and then up to Minnesota, and across the whole top of the range. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's where these people finally decided that polka music is available, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I, I did a lot of a lot of traveling with. Oh uh, yeah, and you know you got to make connections with the disc jockeys, and right. you got to go on uh, interviews, you know, which is good, and to promote the stuff, give some away, and uh, you know, but uh, it's an education. Right. When and I when I traveled with a car like that, well, I always had the radio on, and every half hour I would scan both the FM and the AM, and if I heard a poker show, then I wanted to find out where the station was, okay. and I would go up there with. Yeah. Records under my arm, and uh, how I uh, I'm introduce, introduce myself to him, and he put me on the air, and we play some of the records. And after that, I had his address. We could always mail him the new stuff. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's like that Bobby Vinton did. He made that thing about the roses or something. Yeah. I remember he was working around uh, Pittsburgh when I used to go out there, and uh, he had a polka band. But he wasn't doing too much, but uh, he got an idea, and look where he's at now. Yeah, he made it. Yeah, he's yeah. out there in in, in the. Uh, Volcano country there, you know, so the earthquake country. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a step in the right direction. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. Yeah, ask Bobby Gosby, John. Huh? You're right. Yeah. 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 So he's back. Well, it, but yeah, Bobby is back. Well, that's oh. all right. This is the place to be, anyhow. Yeah, there. he's it's amongst his old be. friends. And again, you know, yeah. I made the comment before about all these telephone calls. Hey, folks, don't get mad at me. I was kidding. Call, please. You know, this all of a sudden the phone stops ringing. Yeah, I don't well, know. I'll tell you what, we'll give them the number. It's 286-1560 uh, or 1-800-946-1560. And Frank Mullick here would like to hear from you. If you've got a few comments you want to make or whatever, why, give us a buzz. Or, or if I owe you money, yeah, now you got it. me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Who we got on the board now? Go well, on. right now we haven't got anybody on the board. Oh, because we, we got about a minute and a half here oh. before we go, we go into... Uh, the news, so... Well, we can kill that real well, easy. Well, you yeah. kill it. Then. Yeah. All right, yeah. Again, I'm, I'm going to invite all the guys out, all the people out there, if they want to hear some good organ music. Right. Come on down. Don Richards, Tuesday night. Maggie, my dear old Maggie's going to be working, and I'm going to be her accompaniment, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, she plays real well, but it's going to be a nice show. How long has she been playing? Oh, man. She used to come into my place, you know, the nightclub I had. Yeah. She used to come in to listen to me. Well, maybe I know her. 
You probably yeah. did. Yeah, well, Vito, her husband, he and I were uh, schoolmates at oh, college. Yeah? yeah. Yeah. We were both, you know, we were there for three or four years or whatever it was. And uh, so that goes back along. But she used to come in the place to listen. Yeah, your, and, your place was at 17. No, you the remember, one, you no, remember? The one, yeah, no, but the one before, yeah, that used to be That's, where the old bank was. Where yeah, they had they, they used to call it, yeah, they used to call it 17. Yeah, I know. I guess yeah. that was stop 17 for right. our school yeah. or the uh, streetcar. 156 in Waterloo. Yeah. Yeah, the old horse trough. Boy, yeah. you're going way back. Yeah, you're right. Are you sure you're 71? Ha, <laughs> ha, <Lose> time. <laughs> yeah. Entertaining Geauga, Lake, and eastern Cuyahoga counties, this is 1560. W.A.T.J. in Chardon. In the Poker Showcase with Al Markick and his guest, Frankie Malik. There you go. Hey, we need some food here, you know? Well, what are you eating? You know, uh, kielbasa. There you go. Well, I got a couple of sandwiches in the refrigerator <laughs> in case you're hungry. <laughs> no, 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 I'm kidding. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, Al Strugel called me last week. He was... Uh, he was here he, on the program. Yeah, he was telling me about it. And uh, he said, oh, hey, that's great. I said, I'm, I'm happy to hear... You know, I'm, I'm glad that you got a job like this. You like it, and you, you're well uh, versed on the musicians and... Uh, and a guy that's got a lot of uh, information that he can pass on to the people out there that want to know what the polka stars are doing. Well, we try, you know. Yeah. And this yeah. polka hall of fame, they're going to have the, uh, the award show, I think, Thanksgiving yeah. Day or something? Oh, it's uh, Saturday. Oh, Saturday? Right, right after Thanksgiving oh, Day. Tony's uh, show is on Thanksgiving. Oh, His the big dancing shindig. thing. Yeah, right. yeah. Well, that's yeah. a good show. I'll tell you, yeah. I, I went to the first one when I was given an award, and I was amazed... Uh, what a fine show! Really, a great production. Oh, and yeah. Jimmy Kozel had the uh, leading the band. He was, he's the musical director, yeah. right? And boy, the band sounded good. Yeah. Phil Cernick yeah. took care of uh, the yeah. uh, production yeah. and that. Yeah. And now it's uh, what's his name? Freddie? Uh, not Fred. Uh, not Zawick. Uh, oh, what's his name? He plays with Harry Faint. Oh. Uh, 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 well, whatever. The, yeah. You see what happens when you yeah. get old? Yeah. You yeah. can't remember I, nothing. I know. Yeah, I ran into uh, Eddie Platt last week or a week before over at uh, that Croatian place on yeah. the Lakeshore Boulevard. What yeah. a joint that is. That's nice. Yeah. Nice place. Yeah. And uh, we were uh, talking. He's Keep gonna talking. Be, he's going to be playing. Uh, he's going to be playing in the band uh, with uh, uh, with uh, Jimmy Kozel. I guess Jimmy Kozel is still going to be the uh, the uh, band uh, musical director. But it's a real good show, and if anybody that uh, wants to see the award show, go and see it. It's worth the eight bucks or ten bucks that they charge. I think it's uh, ten or twelve bucks. Oh, that they raise the price. Well, I'll tell you, it's, it's really worth it. It's a, yeah. A professional. It's really professional. It's a professional show. Excellent. You're yeah. right. You're right. Really good. But I, yeah. I'm not going to be able to go this year. But I, uh, I'm, I'm going to miss it. I, I'm going to miss it. But what are you going to do? You can't get hit everything. Well, you can't do everything. That's right. right yeah. So. Uh, well, I guess our friends have forgot us here, huh? No, I just had a call here from a gentleman, and uh, he wanted to hear the Autobomb polka, and I can't play it right now because of our programming here. If I get a chance to get it out, I'll play it after a while. Yeah, in good. In a little while. Yeah. Probably in about 20 minutes. I have to go through all my stuff again. and uh, Well, it. yeah. Maybe we can play it. Yeah, sure. Going, well, back, to, going back to one of yours again, let's uh, find out what you got on yours. Okay, good idea. There was a time when you loved me as true hearts do in your sweet ecstasy. There was a time for me. There was a time when I. A beautiful now do you know that was a beautiful yeah, that was a beautiful was. there was a time there was a yeah. time there was a time yeah, yeah that was a nice that was a nice tune yeah it was it's yeah. an old bohemian or something like that but right. nice record yeah right but anyhow yeah we were just talking about the green uh, grammy awards 
Yeah. Uh, but you never attended any of them, did you? Uh, yeah, I did. Oh, you did. Yeah. What is it? Really anything like the Polka Hall of Fame thing? Oh, no. Do you mean in California or yeah. wherever? No, I've never gone to one of them. Oh, no. okay. Well, that's no. something for us to look forward to. Well, I won't, <laughs> live, I won't live that long. <laughs> Hey, uh, you know, if I knew I was going to get a Grammy, I'd make you a You might go, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm the same way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, no, I'm tickled pink that the Polka Hall of Fame uh, finally found me someplace along the line. I don't know how they found me. But well, it, it's nice that they give recognition to somebody. Well, sure. Guys. You know, yeah. I say it's like, uh, you know, like ice cream on an apple, on a piece of apple pie, yeah. you know, frosting on the cake. It's a great thing, and you know that people remember you after yeah. all those years, man, right. the shivets, you know. Yeah. But, oh, uh, well. Anyhow, so well, there was a time, was another, so I don't remember who wrote, I think Yaspin wrote the lyrics to that thing. Uh, Art Yaspin, that was his name, I couldn't think oh, of yeah? it before. Did you think of that guy, Freddie, that's, uh, that's going to run the show? Uh, no, you haven't thought of it, okay. It's, it's not Zawick, it's... Uh, Fred, not Kuhar. No, 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 no. Oh, uh, well. Kuhar's the president. Yeah, right, yeah. Because uh, this guy plays saxophone and sings with... Uh, Harry Faint Review. Oh, you see, I I don't uh, know. I lost that, you know. Well, his name slips me, too, I have to tell you. It's, when you get old, well, you get old, you know. Listen, Al, you got 20 minutes to find out. Huh? Well, Where maybe I'll find out hey, by but, that time. But I got to tell you, your show that I heard this afternoon was great. Really good. And these people out here that listen are lucky that they got a good polka show like that because you play nothing but the good stuff. Well, I'm glad you liked it. No, really, I'll yeah. be, I, I'm going to get, I'm going to buy a special shortwave radio so I can make sure I pick you up. Gee, he's got one that's uh, with the extended band. I've bought about five different ones already for different people that uh, can't, they can't seem to get it, but they, they get it with the, uh, the with snow radio. New, no kidding. Yeah. 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 yeah well, yeah. you know, this little old thing I bought some, some years back, uh, I picked it up with that. I was surprised, but I, you know, I paid 150 bucks for this thing, and uh, you know, the dubs tapes and all that yeah. makes tapes. In fact, you know, I'm taping what we're talking about because if there's somewhere in there that I can, you know, get my attorney to work on you for a few, <laughs> few hundred, you know, I'm going to work on it. But no, I uh, I picked it up with that, so I'm going to be listening. Tell your attorney to call Fred Kuhar. He's mine. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, but you know, the program, the the, the, the station send out the flyers about what the programming is or anything like that? Is there a way that I could get a program? Uh, not yet, but we'll be having it in some of the papers pretty soon. I'll tell you what, we're going to play another one of your tunes. All righty. <laughs> Frank is on the telephone there. Why, uh, we had no, you can go ahead and talk, Frank. Uh, we had a fella call and wanted to hear the Audubon polka, so while uh, Frank is busy, we'll play it. Thank you. 
And we're back here with Poker Showcase and uh, Frankie Mullick. While you were talking there to a friend of yours, I found that CD that this gentleman had called and asked for, and I told him I couldn't do it right at the moment. But that was the Autobahn Poker with the Klanschnik Brothers. Oh, that was a good polka. I'm it's, glad you found it. Well, it's a good tune. Yeah, really good. Yeah, we got uh, we got some calls again. I'm glad. I, I didn't want people to get mad at us, but we were getting so many calls, and I only got two ears, and one of them, no, I think I got three. I'm not sure now. Well, but, we enjoy taking the calls, and we enjoy if we've got the material that we can play it for these people. We, we like to play it. That's right. Yeah, this friend of mine, he says he listens to you every week, uh, Friday, no, Saturday and Sunday. You're on with the Polka yeah, right, Show. Right. Yeah, every weekend, he good. says. Good. Yeah. Another good listener. Well, I told him he says he's listening to the best show there is. Thank you. There's only one good show, and that's the uh, uh, Markage's show. Well, we try. <laughs> we try. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that well, was the Autobahn, huh? All right. Yeah, that was the Autobahn. Yeah. Yeah. Would you uh, like to hear what, what else is on this tape that yeah, you brought? Yeah, the, the questionnaire, yeah. The questionnaire tape? Yeah, yeah, whoever knows the name of this and calls in will get two tickets. To what? I don't know, Euclid <laughs> Beach Park or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's yeah. give it a whirl. All right. And that was what? The Wandering Walls. Well, see, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah. that was one of my, uh, you know, even if we recorded, I still, but incidentally, uh, Al was on that record. He was playing the guitar, and uh, I don't know. Uh, it is really, I thought, one of my favorites. Uh, I was happy I made it, and I don't know. It's a uh, nice tune. It was, uh, it was a good, uh, it went good in the city, not so good in the country, you know, but <laughs> no, it, it sold, I don't know how many thousands, but who cares what the heck. Yeah, as long as you made money. Yeah, we made a few bucks a on it. thousand pennies. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, good tune, yeah. yeah I didn't very know good we, tune. I didn't know that we had that many uh, songs on that tape. Jeez. Well, you get surprised, right? Yeah. Well, well, I'll tell you what, we're going to commercials and we'll be right back. And we're back now again with uh, Frankie Mullick. <laughs> we got about ten minutes to go, Frank. Not oh, even. No, boy. about eight. Seven. Yeah, man, it's time. Two yeah. hours. Holy yeah. smokes, Andy. Hey, do I get gas money? Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, we, we were talking about taking trips, talking about El Struggle. And, you know, my kind of trips that I take, uh, this was the first trip this year that I've taken, and that I come out here to Chardon. That's my kind of trip. Or I go to Painesville or maybe Meta or something like that. Uh, you come out to see the snow. Yeah, there you yeah. yeah. Oh, we had plenty there, boy, I'll tell you. <laughs> boy, and then my Jeep breaks down. Oh, problems all over yeah. the place. But, no, hey, you couldn't get me out of this area of the country. No way. I don't care how much snow we get. Uh, I'm sure my roof caves in or the Jeep gets broken or whatever. I don't care. I'll stay here amongst my old friends. But, uh Hey, how's the, what, what, what do we got? Is there any more songs? Well, oh, well, I'll tell you what, we're not going to play one off the tape now. We're going we're gonna to do a different style now. Oh. I want you to listen to this, and then you tell me what it is. Tell you what, I can't even play it. It's the wrong speed. Well, you know what? We, we gotta get the crank and crank. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Maybe, maybe I could. No, I can't. Well, the rubber band broke. The rubber band broke. broke. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, it wasn't good anyhow. What the yeah. who cares? You know? <laughs> no, I have I have a record of yours on Continental. Yeah, what's the name of it? Uh, tell me a story. Oh, that thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, the best ones were the the uh, red label. Those yeah. were the best. Yeah, they were continental. But uh, yeah, well, whatever. I dug this out over here. Uh, Kenny Zager brought me a whole bunch of old stuff that I'm oh, recording, yeah? putting on tape for uh, posterity. You know. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. And uh, I got this one on tape, but this machine here will not play uh, 45. Well, I mean, uh, 